Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to be finally, and I do mean finally, we're going to be pretty much reviewing the It's My Ray Ray palette. I'm going to be sharing you guys how to get this eyeshadow look and to get this blinding highlighting contour, honey. And yeah, I'm so excited for you guys to see this video. It's been literally forever that I've been wanting to do this video, and I got to do it today. I really don't have much to say today. Um, I hope you guys are excited for this video. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit the post notification bell to get a notification when I upload a video to my channel straight to you. And yes. So we're gonna start off by carving out the eyelid and priming the eye with concealer and foundation. I'm gonna take the It's My Ray Ray palette. As you can see, this is the contour side of the palette. And then here is the eyeshadow palette. I absolutely think they're gorgeous. I'm gonna take the color Nudis first and I'm gonna set this all over the brow bone area. Just kind of letting that as a base and then taking the color Pancake. And then that is going to be the transition area. I'm going to blend that out with my brush from Morphe first just to get a nice gradual look on there then i'm going to take the color spice and i'm going to use my mac 224 and i'm going to deepen up the crease area just to give us that nice warmth taking the color sunset and a little bit of friday we're going to mix those in together and we're going to start doing the halo eyeshadow effect um, as you can see i'm circling the eye making it look really really nice and then separating these two shades i'm going to first go in with friday making that look super super beautiful and and blown out and colorful and then taking the darker color purple and then I'm going to blend this out making sure it all blends and then I'm going to go ahead and take the darker gray color and deepen up the halo eye as well and then this is where we're going to head into carving out the middle of the eye just to give us that halo look and then once you get that I'm going to take the color sunset and I'm going to blend the um, concealer to the eyeshadow and then in the middle I'm just going to take the color Allison to give us that pop on the lid and then for lashes I'm going to take uh, Miami lashes in Mykonos Hi, we are back with my foundation and concealer and under eye powder on and that's all I have. I have a little bit of cream contour going on just because I have the actual powder contours here. So with this little contour side, you get three highlighters, obviously a lighter highlighter. This is kind of like a dual chromey highlight. If you can see this one, this one just looks more, it's white but it gives like a yellow green gold look and i actually really don't like that color um so for me the only one i actually really like is radiant which is the second one right here um and this one is obviously too dark for me and then these are all contour shades i love me an all range contour honey the color chai here and i'm gonna go over my cream bronzer honey i just feel like this is gonna give us a softer contour by the way, you guys, I am using some awesome products under my complexion, and I'm obsessed. I'm going to take the same shade, but I'm going to take it with a smaller brush, just so I can go down here. I like this color just because it's lighter than my normal bronzers. It's not as warm either. So now I'm going to take the color Mocha which is the second shade here, and I'm gonna go in with this brush and start deepening up my highlights, girl. My contours, I mean. I cheated today of not having soda, and I had a little bit of coca. Actually, a lot of bit of coca. It was two of them, but I'm back. I'm controlled myself. I'm gonna mix chai and mocha to contour my schnoz. Start off with drawing these little lines and then after this I like to go and diffuse to make it a nice little pinch nose. I like to take only mocha. I'm gonna take a little bit of brownie by just a little bit and just underneath here just because I love the way that it just lifts my nose. Now that I have the contour kind of set, it is a little bit harsh so I'm just gonna go in with my powder. I'm just going to tap the areas just so it'll blend a little bit more nicely. Since I'm already on the nose, I'm just going to highlight the nose with the actual highlighters. I'm going to use Radiant first, which is this gorgeous color here. 
And I'm out a little bit of Moonlight, I just know me and Moonlight don't fuck with each other, girl. Look how, look how cute Radiant is, like, she's a little cute moment. And then, I just feel like, Moonlight is too green. You know? Now we're gonna get a little bit cunty. I'm gonna take the darkest contour, which is Brownie Bite. Let me show you. She's right here. I'm just one right here. And I'm gonna show you how amazingly these blend. Even though this is hella dark, like that's dark. She's dark. But you can make them work, honey. As you can see, she looks sickening, sickening, darling. So I'm going to apply my blush and I'm going to zoom you in here in a moment for the lower lash line. I'm so sorry. I forgot about highlighter. <laughs> it's okay. I remember it. Okay. I'm just baking right now. I'm going to take my Milani brush. It's a great dupe for the Anastasia brush. Great dupe, honey. I'm going to start off with the color Radiant, okay? And now this doesn't have... Um, any fix plus on it just because I want you guys to see how pretty these are. Like pretty. So I'm just gonna go right here. You see that? And these are beautiful. Oh my god, bitch. As you can see, I love Radiant. Radiant's probably my favorite highlighter. I'm gonna add a little bit of moonlight so you can see this right on top. It just adds like this greeny gold to it, the skin, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but you know, some people are, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of that, but Radiant is my bitch, okay? If you guys see my little ears, honey, they're from Disney, you know? Let's go into the lower lash line, because we're already here, so let's zoom in with some more. This is my favorite pencil brush ever in the world. It's the Morphe E18 brush. And y'all can go in with whatever shade you want. You can even go in with the contours. I'm going to take the color Pancake. Okay. I'm going to take Friday. A little bit of Connie. Oh, in the corner. This little moment right here on the bottom, you know, so you get this look a moment, just very lightly taking the shade Sunset, so I'm gonna apply uh, my mascara and we're done, okay guys, so here is the finished makeup look with the you know, the lipstick on and the lower lashes on, lower lash line, excuse me. And honestly, I love this look. I think this look is very, you know, very halo, very cute, very interesting. Loving the lashes, darling. I know she has lipsticks out now, um, but in the original one, I, you know, she didn't have lipstick. She only had this palette and the brushes. Oh, by the way, I completely forgot to use the brushes. Wow. I do have the brushes from her collection. It's what the entire brush collection looks like from BH Cosmetics and it's my Ray Ray. Um, I do like them. I like them a lot. I think they're very different from their original packaging. Um, I love this number four brush underneath my eyes to just like set the concealer i absolutely love this brush here too number two for my blush or you can use this for like light bronzing i feel like it looks really really good with that one um it does it does <laughs> they do have some nice eye brushes as well um the number six and number seven are the ones that i go to and number eight, six, seven, eight. These are six, seven, eight. These are my favorite eye brushes. It does have one more brush, but I think it's a lip brush, and I'm gonna really like that one. And then as for the highlighter brush, this is number five, and this is what I would use for you know this you know blinding situation right here. I just completely forgot to use 
the brushes. This is the number three brush, and I like this one also for under eye, or I can use this for actually contouring. You know, it just kind of depends on the mood, as well as number one is a great powder brush because it's so big. It covers a lot of the areas. But as for this little palette right here, I think it's a great investment. I really, really do like the formula of these. I honestly, if I were to be super picky about something, it is just the freaking shade Moonlight for the highlighter. I just don't like it on my certain skin tone. I just feel like it looks not as nice. Um, but I absolutely love the color Radiant as my highlight color. It's not as blinding as other ones, but I absolutely love it. I think it looks gorgeous. Um, it's just not as br not as blind. Not I'm not trying to think as blinding or as bright. It's just not as a light color that I'm always going for. But it still gives a gorgeous sheen to the cheeks. I love the eyeshadow palette. I love the different tones, and I love that there's like one row of shimmers and there's two rows of mattes and there's different color stories. So you can go with more a neutral look on top or a colorful one on the second. If you want to add some shimmer, that's up to you love this it's a 21 color eyeshadow highlighter and contour palette i think this is great i actually really really love it i am so sorry it took me this long to film this for you but i'm bringing it to you now okay and yes you guys there is everything that is everything for this it's my Ray Ray BH Cosmetics look i hope you guys enjoyed this video honey i'm snatched this nose is snatched, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please like this video, subscribe down below, hit the post notification bell. I wanna know when is the next time I upload. Look who I'm wearing, see her. Hi, bitty bitty. Bought her just because, you know, I love me some Selena, the original queen. Is that is everything. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next one.